What's up people, Sean here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on Don't Starve, just showing you guys what you need to do, uh, and do's and don'ts to survive this horrible world which is randomly generated for everyone. Uh, as you can see, this is my nice little crib, my gaff, uh, whatever you'd like to call it, but I've got my fire pit, uh, which is a permanent fire pit, which I can just relight whenever I need. Uh, that's sort of one of the first things on the agenda. Uh, which is two logs and 12 stone, uh, but I'll have all this on the screen for you guys. Uh, next of all, uh, just to start after the fire pit, because that's the main key thing to survive the night, as soon as you get mauled to death without any light. Um, when you spawn in, yeah, you want to go around, pick up everything, flint, grass and twigs and collect all that make an axe a pickaxe and a spade uh, the reason for this is axe you can chop the wood uh, get some logs to fuel the fire and build other things like chests and refine and whatnot uh, pickaxe is to get the rocks for the fire pit which you need 12 rocks and the spade is to uproot the what's it called Up, uproot the uh, well the roots of like say grass grass turfs and as you can just see, I just uprooted one there. I'll just uproot another just to show you. Go up to it. Uproot. That'll go in your inventory. I've got two there, you see. So you go over to where you want to plant it. And you right click and you've planted it. And they'll grow wherever you placed it. So that's how I've done it. And that's how I guess you guys should do it. Or if you've got better, you know, just comment and say why or how. Uh... This is because it's got all clumped up and it's a nice big bulk of when it all grows together. Uh, but I still highly suggest you go out about uh, gathering everything instead of waiting for them to grow, which is kind of stupid. Uh, next, I'd say you want food. So you want to build traps, which are twigs and grass. Uh, you want to put them near rabbit holes because that's a permanent source of food, seeing as rabbits just, you know, are endless. Uh, so I highly suggest you place your base near your permanent base because you kind of want a permanent base. You can keep working, building upwards uh, near rabbit holes, uh, also possibly near pigs or beefaloes. Uh, and I'll just show you these beefaloes right over here. Da -da 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 -da. Here they are. These guys, uh, good source of manure, the best source since they just keep generating. You pick it up and you can use to fertilize crops and grow plants. The good stuff. And uh, that's needed a lot later. Um, on the pig side, which I don't have any pigs that, that I can show you. Um, you want to feed pigs pestles. Uh, they just line about on flowers. Uh, and that makes them take a crap and blah, blah, blah. You, you can kind of get the rest. I just seem to be picking up my traps. Traps have ten uses. Uh, so... That's always good to know. I'm running out. I'm going to have to build some new ones. Uh, but another tip, just one tip if you're near pigs. Uh, leave food about all you want because pigs will come over and eat it. Uh, but you might attract gobblers and every that stands for anything. But if you're hunting monsters, if a pig eats monster meat, it can turn into a were pig. Um, and were pigs will kill you uh, early game and possibly late game as well. So you want to be very wary of that. So don't take pigs out on your entourage to kill uh, spider bases because they randomly generate things after you've got all the fire pit uh, I think you should this is my opinion start building farm plots uh, I can build some farm plots, plots now since you can never have too many farm plots pick up seeds as you can see um, birds just randomly drop seeds which is always good so you just run over pick up the seeds scare them away click on the seeds plant plant and there you go now that's my farm but you should only need two or four because they randomly generate and unless you want to go mass producing then that takes quite a lot of manure and seeds uh, some berry bushes are always good no I've not heard anything um, berry bushes oh no I was going to dig that up then put that in my pocket Exact. just pick berries and you know I did hear something then actually. Sounds like pain. Right, it's getting late.
don't like the sound of this in the background. Don't know whether you guys can hear it. Sorry for the quietness. But I'll put my gear on. Because I think I'm going to come and get savaged. Right. So, overall, uh, for cases like this, actually, I suggest you learn a spear, build a spear, which is rope, flint, and twigs, and a log suit. Yes, I did hear that, my good man. Yes, I did. Uh, but first, before that, you need to research and build a science machine, which allows you to research new items. Uh, I highly suggest, or I'll do another video later on what to research, since I've not built one yet. This is just from a previous game. Uh, they're getting closer. Let's check what gear I've got and I can see if I can come out and match them. There they are. There they are, guys. Right. Here they all come. Uh, I don't understand why these guys are here. I'm not that far in or know that much about the game yet. But they just started on me. So I had to sit them in a rapid dig. Right, let's just eat this. I wouldn't advise eating monster steak. Well, in dire need, yes. So it gets your hunger back. But it also reduces or oh, you lose some health when you eat it. Seeing as it's monster meat and monster meat isn't good for you. Well, there it is, guys. Cheers for watching. You've just seen people attack me. You see my nice little crib. Um, if you want to know any more about anything else, uh, just comment in the comment section below, and uh, I'll show you. I'll uh, you know do all the good stuff for me. Like, subscribe, uh, do all that good stuff. It really helps me out. And uh, cheers for watching, guys.